Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another video. Um, the last one from me for 2018, as promised. A very quick bank video and a look ahead to 2019 and what I'm hoping to achieve in the next year. Um, without further ado, let's get straight into it. So, the bank sitting at a value of about 850 mil at the end of 2018. Um, to be honest, not really sure where it was at at the beginning of the year. I'd probably say I've gained maybe two or 300 mil in terms of bank value. Um, but here's the first tab, um, basically just my cash and skilling outfits and a few other odd bits and bobs that don't really fit into the other tabs. Um, got the Pegasian crystal waiting for the Ranger boots. Um, my last Zenite shard, um, which I'll turn into the torture once I've reached 93 crafting. Um, but that's about it for that tab. The second tab is my Slayer tab. Again, nothing too exciting in this one. Um, rather than having one tab that incorporates all of my um, PVM drops, I prefer to have this one slightly separate so that um, things that I need to grab um, whilst I'm slaying, I know exactly where they are and can pull them out um, relatively quickly. So I've got um, all three combat styles, so ranged and magic gear as well. Um, decent stack of Karambons for my food which is nice and uh, third tab mostly just runes and um, again a few odd bits and bobs I keep my achievement diary gear in here um, my prayer books uh, most of my jewelry stays in this tab alongside um, my staffs and um, any achievement capes that I want to keep uh, they all stay in this tab um, yeah, running very low on death runes, I need to top up on those, I have to say. Um, but again, not the most exciting tab. Uh, number three, or number four, I guess. Uh, this is probably the tab that's worth the most. This is where I keep a lot of my uh, PVM drops and things like that. So obviously got the Barrows gear at the top. Um, pretty much done with Barrows. I'd like to complete the Darok set. I just need the Great Axe for that. And possibly might head back to Barrows at some point to try and finish... Um, Guthans, I do need the top and the spear, but I've completed Carols, Arims, I only need the hood, I'm not too bothered about that, Verax, I've completed that, um, Torags, I only actually have the top, but again, don't really feel any need to get the other pieces, so um, I've done about 500 Barrow's chests, so I've done quite well for myself there, um, otherwise in this tab, just ammunition, um, or my dragon drops, which... Um, I've got a lot of dragon meds and a, a few bits of everything else. Um, two abyssal daggers, one I got from abyssal demons, pretty rare. Um, all of my rings from Dagonoth kings, got a fair few of those, just missing the warrior ring. Um, yeah, my Zora uniques, um, no duplicate tanzanite fangs, but we're not going to mention that. Um, and yeah, other bits and bobs for PVM, my void, cannon, that sort of thing. Uh, next tab is a bit of a skilling tab, um, so I keep all of my um, equipment in here that I need for skilling and all the various supplies. Got a decent amount of uh, of gems and ores. It's all relatively well organised. Um, I like to know where everything is kept. I'm trying to think if there's anything in here that's pretty notable. I guess the giant seaweed. Got a decent chunk of that now, so that's I, I probably got 93 crafting banked. Just need to get the buckets of sand and can start working on that in the new year. Um, lots of teak logs for construction eventually. I think I'll need about 120k overall to get to 99, so um, I get about a thousand a week just from miscellaneous. And um, yeah, I guess going from 87 to 90 wood cutting will make up the rest of those, which is pretty good. I uh, keep the rest of my food in this tab as well. Um, nothing too exciting there. Got a, got a decent stack of food from fishing those, so that should last me a relatively long time. Uh, next tab is potions and farming. Um, I've got a lot of herbs. Uh, I think probably 94, 95 herb lore banked um, in herbs alone. Obviously, do need to get these secondaries and. Um, a very nice stack of seeds and potions as well, which should last me a while. I think possibly before the Keboss Lowlands update, I might try and stock up a bit more on prayer potions and, I mean, maybe super defense pots, but I've honestly got a decent stack of everything else. Um, 
and obviously yeah tons of brews now we're going to run out of those um and yeah just farming supplies down the bottom um haven't got too many high level seeds left um i do use them as i get them so at the moment just working through willow seeds um and pineapples before moving on to curries um we'll definitely get 99 farming in 2019 that won't be too much of an issue uh next tab i just keep all my bones and uh, insult heads in here nothing too exciting um don't really know what level i've got banked here um a lot of dagonoth bones and dragon bones which slowly stack up from slayer which is nice um next tab these are the items that i need for uh clues scroll emotes that i don't have in stash units mostly for master clues and uh anything for follow the bard um i try and keep in here if it doesn't belong elsewhere again nothing too exciting i keep all my uncharged jewelry in here as well um i don't really know that i need to keep that but it's just a, a convenient place to keep it next tab this is all of the uh, treasure trail rewards that i have um if it doesn't fit in the house then it goes here again it's just odd bits and pieces um this tab's only going to get bigger as uh, as time goes by because I do do a lot of clues and it does take a while to fill up the sets that you need to put them in the house and then obviously you get duplicates of things anyway. Um, yeah, I've got a few nice things here. The Ranger's tunic, um, the spectacles. I've actually got another pair of those in the house as well. And a couple of ornament kits. Um, I know some Iron Men drop their duplicate pages and other things to main accounts. I'm minded not to do that just because i like having the extra bank value but i yeah i don't know if bank space becomes a huge issue i can consider it last tab is just a alk tab that i've been building up um for the past month or so nothing too exciting it's about six and a half mil and um yeah when i start doing agility again i will start burning through those um yeah that was a very quick overview of the bank and um yeah, let's have a, a quick look at what I'm hoping to do in 2019 as well. All right, so my goals for 2019 aren't anything too over the top. Um, I think I have to be quite realistic about what I can achieve. I do have a, a full-time job, um, not looking to go crazy with the hours this year, um, but a few things I would like to achieve, probably one that will come um, without too much effort will be 99 Slayer, and along with that, um, all max combat stats um, aside from prayer so finishing up 99 attack and defense getting up to 99 in ranged and magic as well I don't think that'll be too tricky especially with uh, all the slayer that I'll be doing with the Kebos Lowlands update coming in January um, so that's one that I'll be working on pretty soon um, other than that I would like to finish up the achievement diary cape mostly just need to uh, get the rune crafting levels for that and finish up the barbarian assault for the Kandarin elite diary so again that'll take a little bit of time to do the rune crafting but i don't think it'll be anything too tricky to achieve in the next year um, on top of that though i would like to go for base 90 stats which i think is uh, realistic if I'm being honest, I did consider putting uh, maxing on my list of goals for 2019, but I just thought it's such a huge time investment. Um, the difference between, say, getting 90 rune crafting and 99 rune crafting is is quite something. And um, I don't know. I think there's probably plenty of other things PVM wise that I'd like to achieve in the next year that maxing will probably take away from that. Um, which does bring me on to one of the, the PVM things that I would like to do this year. And I would like to learn how to do solo raids, um, which in itself is going to require um, a lot of item upgrades. So I'm probably going to have to try and do a lot more God Wars dungeon. Um, I'm thinking, you know, getting Bandos armor, getting Armadil armor, that sort of thing. Um, but I think it, it would be really cool to learn how to do solo raids. I do really enjoy raiding the, the few raids that I've done so far and I would like to get um, as many of the raid one items as possible um, and I think it would just be great for me to learn how to do it solo just um, improve um, my skill as a PVMer and I don't want to put this on the list of goals for 2019 because I think it would probably require 
thing something like a twisted bow for me to be able to do it but infernal cape i i would love to be able to attempt to do that at some point maybe not in the next year but yeah maybe that'd be one for 2020 um but i think those are all pretty realistic goals and hopefully i'll be able to get those all done by the end of the year but yeah new updates always coming into the game games always changing so yeah how the game plays out at the end of 2018 might be very different in a year's time we shall see um but the progress videos will be back um fairly soon in the new year hopefully one within the next week or so got a fair amount of clips saved up so um yeah probably get cracking with um i imagine january's just gonna be slayer isn't it try and get that dragon hunter lance um but yeah thank you guys for watching hope that's been interesting for you all i know a few people have asked to see the bank um i guess mainly just to see how it's all laid out um and yeah i hope everyone enjoys their celebrations tonight or if you're watching from the 1st of january hope um hope you had a good new year celebration and um see you guys all again soon for the next progress video take care